Hello guys. This is a video on how to play paintbrush. Well, not how to play, just basically the mechanics. Like to learn how to play, you have to play the game. I, I mean, I can't teach you the guys that, right? So just an overview of her spells because people keep asking, oh, how do you play paintbrush, right? I see it on the stream sometimes, on Shirko stream a lot, and in WeChat groups. So her first, uh, her passive is. Every three aisles, it becomes piercing and does magic damage. So if you see here, I do one, two, my uh, brush is closed, and I can do a piercing auto. One, two. If you're very comfortable with this hero, you should always, uh, you should always charge this up. Let's assume there's an enemy here. So you go one, two, and then you walk up. Maybe you want to shut the wave with this. Okay, so that's her passive. Uh, the thing with her passive, and I'll remind you guys later, is you should use it during her ult to do extra damage. Her first spell is very generic, it's just the blob. Second spell, it's a snake that comes from the sky and travels backwards, as you can see. And it's like two charges, right? If your S1 collides with the S2, it does extra damage. So we can, I can prove it on this down here. S1 did, uh, S2 did 250. And that did uh, 4, 250 again, so that's 458, right? But if you do this, you did like uh, 800 damage instead. So now uh, her ult, everyone knows her ult, right? Like basically when you press the button, you can move in a direction. So you see I press the ult, now you have to use your joystick. And whenever you hit some something, you can hit your spells or enemy creeps or uh, heroes, uh, then you get another uh, jump. So I'll demonstrate, right? Press the ult, you go here, you see, I hit that minion, right? So I can jump again. So, um, if you hit your spells while you ult, you heal. So let me take off his, uh, I, let me take some damage. You see, I healed there because I hit those, uh, my own spell. I think it's uh, spells only, not the enemy. Uh, so basically, if you do this five times, so you only have to hit four things, right? Because your fifth ult, you can hit the air and still ult. So you only have to hit four things, and if you hit, if you jump five times, then you become invulnerable, and you do a lot of single target damage. Like that. And uh, the thing with that spell is it's single target, but you can change it. You can ch choose your, uh, you can choose uh, who you hit by using hero icons. You can turn that on. So if I'm in alt, I just press this and then it'll alt that guy. That's useful in AOE fights, but this is really hard to learn. So anyway, stick with the basics. Um, so as you can probably tell, everything about this hero is just an alt. That's like her bread and butter. <coughs> <coughs> So I'll just go over like uh, from easiest to hardest, what kind of uh, combos you can do with your ult. So the easiest one that everyone uses is called two one one three one. No, two one two three three one three 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 three. I think yeah. So you go two and then you wait and then you go one. It's the, it's the easiest combo. So what you have to do is. Two comes down, then you can do two things. You can walk forwards, or you can wait a bit. So I walk forwards, and then you use one. Oh, I forgot to explain. That. Notice how when you turn on your ult, there's like a bar on top of your head, right? So that's the time you have to execute your next ult before it goes on cooldown. So during this thing, you could do things like, wait, what happened? Anyways, you could do things like auto, <clears throat> you could also walk, see like how I walked? 
you walk by pressing the this button. <coughs> you walk by pressing auto, or you can walk by pressing the hero icon here. So I'll just demonstrate again. So I walked, right? Show again. Yeah, so you can do that to uh, trick enemies or get closer to them. So you don't always have to do two, three, or three, three. Like that's super generic, right? And also during this thing, you can also auto him so you can talk your passive. Anyways, there is there's limitless combos. I'm not that mechanically good at this hero, but you can tell that there's a lot of creative things you can do, right? So anyways, two one two three three one three 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 is the basic combo that everyone should learn. Like this is the if you can't do that, don't play her in a normal even. The second combo I would suggest learning. Mm, there's this combo, but it's kind of hard to execute. So you do two. So that's two three 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 three. So the good thing about this is you only need to use two ones, which is uh, if you have low, if you don't have many CDs, it's good. But late game, that that's not really that useful. You could also do two. You could also do two, three, three, two, three, three, three. <coughs> Anyways, the idea is when you out, you also want to use your spells to do like maximum AOE damage on the enemy. So, you could start with one healer. I think you can only do one, three while you use one. I'm not sure. Anyways, you could start with one. You could do one, three, two, three, three, and then hit the enemy with the three, and then use the final three. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'll just go over like. So we said two, three, three, one, three, three, right? You could auto during the fourth one and then like, oh, see, I just did extra damage, right? And you could also do a Zonya's trick because a lot of people like to buy Zonya's when they fight this hero because obviously it protects them from ult, right? So what you can do is you go two, and then he Zonyas, right? Then you can Zonyas as well. Or, or the other thing is, like, I'm diving power. Where is the power? Let's say I dive this power, and then I Zonyas, and then I. Okay, you can do that. Zonyas, you can, uh, like, like, this is Batman, right? So he might do a lot of burst on me. You might do a lot of birds, so I'll just draw you very well. Another, uh, another trick you can do, this one is, I'm not comfortable with it, but you can do a fade away too. So you see I'm low health, right? So I fade away my two to heal and to gain distance on this assassin. So let's say there's an enemy here, you do two, you, you go backwards, and then you go backwards. Uh, anything else? Let me think. There's one more thing. Oh, I forgot. I think that's it. Anyways, if you have any questions on this hero, if you don't understand how I execute any of these combos, just let me know. <coughs> oh yeah, there's one combo that's really cool. Uh, I, I think it's kind of pointless, but uh, it's totally stylish. I'm not sure if I can do it. But that's the most disrespectful combo. It's really hard to play. And uh, the, the hero might, the enemy hero might move, right? But this is just... You know that Tuk Tuk song? That Indian song? That Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what I should be making next. 
and see you guys next time.